Hi, my name is Xinqing. In this video, I introduce a new employee onboarding training program I created by using Adobe Captivate. Here's some information about this project. This project is created for new employee onboarding training at an engineering company. I used Adobe Captivate to create a scenario-based learning for the new hires. And I also use Audacity and Isotop RX7 to edit and clean the audio recording in the project. I created this because I think onboarding is an important process that provides a lot of valuable information for new hires and integrate them into a new workplace. But because they need to retain many materials and knowledge relevant to their work quickly, Using some strategies such as personalization and hands-on approach to create a training program and make it more engaging and interesting for them can be very effective. This onboarding training I designed will give the new hires an understanding of company values, priorities, and team dynamics by providing them with an overview of their responsibilities. Besides that, they'll be trained to manage tasks based on performance expectations. They'll also connect with their colleagues and share their own individuality through communicating with them. Throughout the program, new employees will be able to identify how the company works and how they can align with company goals, demonstrate the ability to manage projects, use personal identity socialization to express their unique strengths on the job, and create connection with colleagues. You'll help integrate these new hires into the company, enhance their engagement, and increase their retention, making them feel more comfortable adapting to a new work environment. In my design process, I implemented the edit model to plan the whole layout. In the first phase analysis, I analyzed training needs based on 5W1H related to the project and completed a revised training and action plan. I also thought about the core of the program. How can we improve the situation and achieve goals through training? Moving on to the next phase, design, I created a course design document that gave an overview of detailed module design and the tools, assessment instruments, and medias I was planning to use in this training program based on the action plan I've built. The third phase, development, which is also where I spend most of the time in, contains a lot of different sections. I first created course contents by using unified formats for graphics, colors, and fonts. Then I designed the course guided by the module plan one by one and asked for the feedback. After that, I tested the course and checked the content accuracy, utility of navigation, and the flow of the content. Then I fixed the issues and revised the project according to the given feedback. Finally, I presented this course to the potential audience and checked if the course delivery method was working. I also checked if there's any problem encountered by the audience and refined contents and fine-tuned the features of the program based on their feedback in the implementation phase. Then I checked if problems relevant to the training program were solved and if the desired objectives were met in the final evaluation phase. Now I walk you through the new employee onboarding training program I created. Let's click the button to start the training. There will be four modules in the training, and here are some objectives that the new hires will be able to do at the end of the course. There will be two buttons below for you to either go back to the previous page or go to the next. The first module is Compliance. There will be two characters walking you through the first module. Here's a conversation between the two people talking about the new employee's responsibilities. Now it's the time to test your basic understanding of an employee's responsibility. If you click on the wrong answer, you'll get the feedback and be asked to try again. This is what you'll see when you get the right answer. 
Then their conversation will continue to focus on discussing the answers and the further questions. Now we're in the second module, clarification. Here we have a new character to introduce the topic of project management to you. There are five phases in the project management. You can click on any icon to go to the following phase or based on the order. When you go directly to one of the phases, you can return to the main page and click on the icon again or go directly to the next phase by clicking the next button. After this module, it's quiz time to test what you've just learned. There will be four questions, and you'll select only one suitable answer for each question. Here, you'll need to select an answer and click the Submit button. If it's wrong, you'll be asked to try again. You won't be able to go to the next page until the right answer is chosen. Moving on to the next module, Culture. There will be a simple video playing after you came to this page. You can pause, stop, or replay it. After you finish watching the video, the next button will show up. In this module, you'll learn about the company's core values through other colleagues' experiences. Here are six life stories from your colleagues and they all talk about different core values of the company. You'll see the core value they talk about and their positions at the company. One of the core values is dive deep. You'll need to finish listening to all the audios before going to the next part. One of the core values of our company. One of our core values is that. Our core values kind of relate to our we also have stuff like we want to build community. One of the values that I like the most. This part allows you to go over all the core values once again and understand their meanings behind. Now we're ready for the last module, Connection. There will be four scenario questions in this section for you to think about. You only need to choose the option that you think you're more likely to react. There's no right or wrong answer. Choosing any of the options will direct you to the next page. The last part of this module is to let you connect with your colleagues on Slack and share and explain your answers based on your experiences. You can use the buttons below to return to the scenario. After you finish one, you can hit the return button to go back to the personal connection page and choose the next scenario. Congratulations! You made it to the end of the training program. You can now start it over or just click the exit button to close the page. Ever since I've started this project, Learn by doing really resonated with me. I've watched some videos online before to learn to use the tool Adobe Captivate, but I feel like following someone's instructions is way easier than exploring more features on my own. I encountered some problems while designing the project and try out many different methods to solve them. I also learned to think from the simplest side based on the audience perspectives and their needs to create features and contents of this e-learning training program. I realized that creating a plan ahead is very important or it's very easy to lose focus throughout the process. This project has given me an opportunity to start with a problem in mind and come up with potential ways to provide my audience with a more authentic and engaging learning experience, which is something really useful. I'll take along my future journey. Thank you and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.